Hey up guys, it's Arctic TG player back at again here with another vid. Today we are playing some ranked draft from World Drain. This is the second one. Well, let's just dive right in. Ooh! So Vanch is Gargoyle. Now, I don't really know how to evaluate this card, but I know Mill is super prevalent. Really good. I think I think better cards are all these all these This is a really good pack, actually. All these uncommons are pretty good. The commons are all decent. Best common here is probably like... I don't know. These are, I mean, it's not baking to a pie. It, none of these are baking to a pie. This, that's the only thing I'm going to say. Just none of them are baking to a pie, so we we can ignore them. I think it's just Phantom's Cargo. I really want to try to know, so... Ooh, red cap melee. Red cap melee is pretty good. It's it's more of a better late game card because first of all you don't want to spend one mana for four, which could get rid of a lot of things. Uh, things, killing small things, and also the fact that it makes you sacrifice a land most of the time is kind of bad. Also because you then uh, really you know because then you just lose out on your mana. Your curve just gets way more wonkier so you really want to do this more later in the game when they have a good threat like i'd only do this unless i'm if i'm stabilized on lands and yeah if i'm stabilized on lands or i need to do it because i'm going to die to this massive bomb threat it's the only time i use red cap melee in like a situation where i am laying light where i don't have the ideal lands i want for my deck but still nonetheless good card is that like another type of real Uh, the uncommons in this one are well the rare guy the other uncommons are pretty mediocre so i think it's just the right kind of melee it's still a good card for allen's lion's claw mm. all right i think surf and the head is way better than this card yeah it gives it's too green to get plus at minimum do you get plus two plus two to your creature or if you pump it, like I've used this, that creature and constructed with Ronis to just give one creature just a million damage. It's really spicy. So I haven't been seeing really mill cards. The best card here? I don't know what the best card in this pack is. All these cards, maybe it's just the Sir Alin. He's not bad. He's for Five minute four for first striker, acceptable. Giving giving that small anthem. I mean he's probably uh the weakest sir. I think I think it's Sir Allen, Sir Eleonora, Sir Farron, Sir uh Kara, and then Sir Conrad. Sir Conrad is just actually busted. I think this is just bad. The Sirs are all pretty good. They're all a really nice cycle. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, but I think it's still pretty good. This is just drafting the hard way. This is what it is. There is a Drown in the Lock, but Edgewall Innkeeper is the right one. So... Here, I think, the card I want. The card I think I want here is... None of the uncommons. I don't think I want the uncommons from this pack. Both of them, I think, are pretty weak. Unless, well, Witch's Oven, you'd have to get Cauldron Familiar, which is a real combo combo. It's hard to pull off. I think this is one of these adventure cards. I think it's gonna be this tree folk. I think I I'd rather have a six mana six five than a two mana two. Five. Ooh, Ember Shield Breaker. Real good. Again, nothing for I think this is just the route we're going. I think I'm just gonna take the shield breaker. So we could. I think this might be a red adventure deck. Well, 
think I am still gonna take secret. Still this that can be real good. Definitely think looks like a red, green, aggressive adventure, so the mock knight pickup. Uh eh. we don't have we have a lot of knights. I mean no, we have a lot of humans. Disgusting humans. I'll take it anyway. Um uh, Brute. Brute can go in any deck. Uh, Vector Shrew can actually be a pretty good card. So Tiny goes well with the, that mill theme. Fling can come out of nowhere and just wreck. I've been wrecked by Fling. When I was playing for that card. Okay, Flash Intruder. Warden Knight's here, but no Knight's in here yet. I mean, there's a Rimrock Knight and uh, Emperor Shieldbreaker. Flax Intruder's just real slick. Well, the, the chain continues. Beanstalk Giant. This might actually give us an opportunity to splash white if you'd like. Another red cat melee. But I think this is just clearly the deck we're going with. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna go with white. I think the best adventure here is definitely our real tactician. So I'm gonna take it. So you might play white. Or we could also play black. Valmar Knight. What's better, white or black? In terms of adventures. What does white have? White has... We're not going four colors, definitely. I think red's still pretty good. Emory Shieldbreaker and Rimrock Knight are all pretty good. I think black's just probably better. I think it's just a lot more value packed in it. I see my adults. Nope. It's just an out muscle here. Second seven dwarves. Actually, no, that's not the same. Dwarves. Uh. And none of these cards matter. Sadly. Like when Stark's a sorry card, just start caring when you actually matter. Uh, Ben. The best pro. And, well, not the best. My favorite pro. The best drafter. Debate, uh, then that's still debatable. Still pretty debatable. Uh, I don't know. Our deck kind of looks maybe not human. I think we'll just take silver. Right? We still don't even know if we're splashing. We might just go completely sideways and just stick with this. Getting sorry cards. Merge in the veil. It's fine. Again, these cards are start carrying when you matter. Sir Farron again, wow. He really want me to play Sir Farron. But, you know what I see what we lack? Actually, I think removal's fine. I was about to take score. Yeah, I think we can just, uh, yeah, we're two color deck. We're gonna take Sir Farron. Uh, Ember Shieldbreaker. Um, uh, using our tree folk. But I think I see we are missing. Sir Kara is a fine addition. I don't know why it's here. I don't think Sir Kara should be here this late, but. Oh, Lucky Clover. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be disgusting. Come on now. Everything's just kind of grave at this point. Oh yeah, Grand Bricks Wire. I forgot that's an adventure payoff. <sighs> what do we take? I'm just gonna take over it. We're still lacking threes, which is kind of sad. No way. I took that. Nothing here matters, really. Weapon rack might make it. Wing. It. 
Did I take it? Oh, thank God. Did I not take it? Careful boy. Barge in. Crystal slipper. Ooh, my vault's ready. That's actually really helpful. I really want some wild cards, some mythic ones too. We're actually a few cards short. Now this is a time of do we splash anything? I think if we're gonna splash something, we're gonna splash white. White, I think, is just the card the color we're gonna splash. If we splash something, we're splashing white cards. You do have one bean stock giant, good for ramping. So our repetition. Squire, and also that gives us another three drop, which our deck's kinda lacking. I actually think we might want the Cypher Scarecrow now, just because we only have one Beanstalk. <sighs> Rack is... It's a little slow, but... I'll cut one fling. I think that's enough. Does that here work well? Nah, it doesn't. Root! Or we can just put the other fling back in. Or we can just put Crystal Slipper in. Or if we might want to put Sir Ella. That kind of messes the mana more. I think with only one being stock, this is. What should our... I think this should just... Because this is gonna give the meshes clear. Now I want to put it there. It's just in the, the clear message of what our deck's about. Adventure! Yeah, that's why I'm gonna get the guy. Well, the guy thinks like... Every time it's like, I'm going on an adventure! Yeah, he's playing Ogari Adventure. Oh yeah, this oh this is this is actually kinda of disgusting. The thing we're missing is red, actually. <sighs> Shit close. If we need to, we'll send the flagship away. What is it? Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. Are you fudging with me? I've been trying not to curse. But oh my god. Alright, Edge Rolling Keeper. This is actually kind of a bad match because Edge Goal is a real value deck, so I don't like the sight of this overall apprentice. Oh my fuck. I wanna die. Hate mill! No, I'm not taking this stupid. One card. Melee. Okay. What now? Secret Keeper, really? I hate this. Or hopefully their hand seems to run out of gas. Whatever, fucking keep poking.
problem is that mana could represent something. Waiting it up for one more turn. One more turn, we're gonna wait it out. If not, then we're gonna go out. All right, golden egg. That would be easy. The mana is not enough mana for didn't say please. I don't care about any other counter source. I just don't. Can you please tap out? Got it, you got it. Of course. Here I do kind of want to build up the flax in, but. What? Brimstone free bucket. Now you're gonna dance, it, please. What? Dang it! I think he debated me. He wanted me to think I was safe. He wanted me to think I. He gave me a false sense of security there. Nice move, man. But I still fucking hate you. And oh my god, how many cards are fucking left in my nine? That was a good move, but maybe with this one. Lost dragon now, and then it's gonna outvalue me for dragon. <sighs> so I don't even want to play anything. Since it's just gonna draw me a card. Yeah, I don't think we're getting to gold relax, I think I might as well just play her. Hold off. Because the thing is, if I attack with both, he's gonna eat the edge wall. If I attack with just this, he's gonna block the secret keeper because he doesn't want to be slot dragon. Did the Clover already get milled? The Clover did not get milled already. Okay, you're dead. You can get Valerie safely. I'm not being a dickhead and playing mill even though I had the option to. In my pool and I was able to fucking tap it. A fucking dickhead. How many mountains are there? One, two, three, four, five. They're all, they're all in the bin. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. There's no way I can win this game. With that many cards left in my library? Oh, look at that. Cards in my library. No. <sighs> Fucking ass. I hate mill. Mill's disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna open my ball later. At the end, I'll open my ball up. I'm actually super glad I hit my vault now. Because now that I have my vault, I am able... It's close to what I want, but... It's not that good. I think I have to mold this away. Or... I don't know, man. I think just a more... No more ones. Now it's worse. Okay, better. I cannot threaten them with red cap melee. Yeah, I'm gonna sack that land. <laughs> As 
use it. I think it's gone. Turn back on. Over. He's like, oh shit. He's like, oh fuck, it's Clover. It's an op. But the shield break is doing real wonders. But the problem is, I need to have. I need the opponent to have two artifacts now. So it's actually kind of a bigger hoop to jump through. Even though, like, because then I have to just go through Clover. I think I'm gonna play this. Play out the Garambic Squire. And Pants. And if I only have. Like, like let's say if I venture this out, which would be stupid. He's not gonna do anything, he's gonna keep breaking then. Fine. Oh, since so it's not gonna be useful anymore. It's not gonna be useful anymore. You might as well just fling it at your face. And I need to continue the threat, so I need to continue playing. Breacher, so I'm gonna play this number. Shield Breaker. If he keeps breaking, then this is good. Kinda of feel bad, but. Huh. Where you go? Nothing. Does he break real hard? Ooh, he threw the land. Now I'm scared. He has a blocker. Actually, if I do that, that's just gonna... So, so, man, if that was a forest, that'd be an awesome deck. That would be an amazing... If I chop like a forest and I could play the forest, El Muscle, get... Un un indestructible. I'm still winning the race, so... Take the two. I'm winning the race. Just play a one power creature. I'm good. Just play one power. Play a one power. Just now. And hammer. And we're good. That's the turn to you. Now it's a 2 2. Now I could decide to kill Merchant in the Veil. Or I can outvalue them anyway. I can get more damage. Attack, but you should have done it when I attacked. Fuck, like, you know, that will still give them the shield breaker power. Oh, Mad Rider, yeah. I'm just gonna send the send her, Sir Fair and Sir Fair and the head chamber out. Right now it's actually kind of a good blocker, so I'm actually kind of glad to have the sign of Scarecrow. It's a 2-4, so... But, but the thing is, he probably can just leave back creature, raider... You'd have to leave back a mouse. So you could, like, free with this, and then use a mouse to give this a... 
Maybe it's a 4 3. If he wants to make all of his creatures. But then I would have to, like, then I would, like, double block something. I didn't miss that. I keep. I might not be dead, so I'm not just gonna bleed it out. Still at one. Well, actually, if he uses that to pump. I don't think I I can do nothing well. This trample? This Mick trample? God damn it. I didn't know I had a trample. If I knew what a trample I would have just conceded already. Oh no, it's a fun deck. I wanna actually be able to use it more. I don't wanna just have to scrap it up at three games. That's just the most sucky thing. This deck's good though. Ooh. Keep. Keep. Turn to a clover. Actually, I'm gonna make it think it's just a. So that's me. Open. Blue bricks. Blue bricks. Tend to have pack a few artifacts, so the shield breaker might come in handy. Do. I don't know what they plan at, so I'm just gonna wait to see what their deck strategy is. Then I can plan a card. Just less. I'm gonna have to lose my red nature. Oh, I think. They have to pump shield breaker up. What do you got? I got two one. What do you want? Are you actually gonna then say music? Oh, it's not spread up like that. Yeah, I think Squire's just a really good combat trick. Squire's just super, especially if you have Like, no, oh, you could have been just It's instant speed, so. Don't need to do anything else, but I'm not blocking with him anyway, so. I mean, it might have been better to play a mountain, so I could have fling also, but I don't think I'm fling. So if knocks, where it's getting cast. Then what's with the rest of the mana? There's bear? Yeah. Put it in, okay. Probably just gonna put the ghost one, I assume. That gives plus four plus four, making it a seven to five. Yeah, it's exactly seven. But that's just basically a white. Kind of a little thing. What is he gonna do? Uh. 
this is the fun thing about adventure. You just, okay, you sent a combat trick. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna play a creature now. What you got? Okay, look. Okay, whoever has to waste the pump anyway on that acolyte, so. Now you just wasted the pump from the cover, but it's- that's the thing, cause like- That would be kinda of bad using an instant save, but Carver's also a creature. Boy. He knows under no other way than attacking. I'm something that like an oak on the deck. <sighs> Can I throw the footsteps? If I... Uh... No, I can't throw the footsteps. I think it's the play as a separate. Oh! Hey. But not attacking with the car, well, not playing the carver worries me a lot. But now I have this adventure, also, I can just pay one red. Pump with Boulder Rush. But I have an 8 8 wall, but I'm on a 3 foot block. Where do you want to go? Whether it's where it at, I want to know. Whoever did not, whoever did not code that eight, that in to the game is kind of bad. Like you have to have a few emotes. Oh my god! Look at that! I got fifty gems and a pack. Wow! Well, it's still trash. You got, you still got to leave. Who's this? The wall. I've been using wild cards right lately, so that's why my wild, wild cards are kind of low. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so that I'm working on right now, being Stompy. This is the full deck. This is it right now the deck I'm working with. I think I know exactly what card I'm gonna get. Westin East. Oh, since this video was so short. I mean, the draft portion was like, not that short, but why is that doing? Two beast. Craft it. We got it. Then, three rares. All right, because I saw the questing beast filter. Don't have any of these lands? No, but no.
I'm gonna get two of these and then use the other one for another once upon a time in my deck. And then we'll go get once upon a time. Another one. Crap. There. So we have three cuts to make to the deck. I still have Ronus there, it's just a one of finished here. I want another one, but I think it's just better just to invest in this questing beast. These questing beasts are gonna do wonders. I think maybe the Heroic Banner. I think just without the beast, our deck wasn't that fast. And we really want just, just this to just get punching, but I think the beast just gives us enough to continue punching. And. That's a grand half jammer can go. Okay, we'll test this build out. I'm right now on gold tier. I'm running on it on the floor. I'm also, actually, first let me show you. This version of it. This is supposed to be the complete version. Yeah, with the Wildborn Preservers. Full of one spawn time and one extra runas. Orca hinges. Sadly, I don't have all of it. The only reason it's showing like I don't have it is just because I don't have the full mountain copies. Alright, let's just go. Rain from rain. Just because the video was so short. It looks awesome. Show off my green stalky deck. Super glad I got to open up the vault. And the vault also kind of pays for itself. So I can keep buying cards. Well, not buying cards, I mean, like playing grass, opening paths. You get more cards, and as you keep spending more wilds, I think it's good. Frog Chamber's on. Rogue Chamber can already start the deck going really consistent. Rogue Chamber is just a consistency engine. You just make your deck pop real well. Oh yeah. So now, in turn 5, you can guarantee to a great hand, depending on if they don't kill this Guardian. Which I'm gonna do. So, turn 5, I can play for the Mario Kart for. God damn damn it, I'm gonna control that. Cabin. Temple. Dude. Pass. I'll probably crack it. I don't really have any uses for the food, so I'll probably just crack it. So basically, you get him big ramps you up one mana, but only for creatures, and I don't think... I want to just slam Ronus on. And I don't want to use Helm there either, so it's nice. Alright, no one's in a commanding position already, so it's fine. It's so slow, I don't know what they're being. If I could use the great that for the great tangent, then I would because then I would have. Actually, no, I still even have it. Just continually passing. Alright, I'm gonna commit. Go, 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 What you got? Out of here. God damn, try. Hoping to attach Halberd, swing. I think I should just wait till the phase change. That he might decide to go. Let's stick this for a little bit. Alright, we'll play the Guardian.
use it. Now I can get another guardian out. Until next turn, but I'm impatient, so. Uh, what is your deck? How does your deck win, sir? I would like to understand the win con of your deck. Just keep pulling out with this resiliency. Try car, try car, and try again. Try. So they can't do anything. I'm just gonna create the great hinge right now. Attack. And then watch this. I'm gonna use this. Key. Untap. Oh my, this is not my brew. I just like saying this is a deck list that I found, and I really like this deck. Alright, well, I want Tracker. Well, I want Tracker. And this is a great. I'm hoping to find more creatures. Who loves the piece? Guess we'll pop that out. I found one one. And the, the, the great thing just keeps your life total healthy. Like, it's just really hard for your opponent to race you and deal with this. As a nerd cry, I'm gonna cry again. Yeah, I assume that. Or I have Beast. Oh, yeah, Beast Whisperer. We're, we're chilling. We're rebuilding. We're untapping Great Head. And we're picking Cavalier. So we got pretty big meaty boys on the board. Why can't you have fun? Or sell them in a great head. So we build. I mean, this card's just broken. Like, why do you have to give it a gain to life part? You're just pushing it. I mean, I know it's better for Stan. Now I'm gonna put it. Oh, it's just pop. Unless you just clear the board until you can get a ferocious pup to just keep swinging. Why would you do that? Your creatures can't attack. Oh well. I can do life. However, I'm not under any pressure, especially with the Great Henge. With the Great Henge. Basically, you're either getting plus two or neg, or you're negging two from your opponent's attack every single turn, every single goddamn ding turn. It's gonna be really hard for him to bring my life down. How many cards have I been left? In my life? Thirty-four. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait because Ronus, if you do it right, can win. Me, your friend to wolves. So, what is this now? This after this? Okay, after this, we play board continuously. We're gonna wolf it. We're gonna wolf him out. <laughs> what kind of fucking neck is this? I think at this point we just have to play Romus. We need to start getting value. And the last thing is, Ronus is hard to deal with. Especially for a deck with all this removal. Ronus is extremely hard to deal with. And the thing is, it's gonna have to fight, which is gonna have to kill Ronus. Which is gonna also make all the creatures if I die. 
So he just wasted that for nothing. Sure he's getting life. Fine. I'll do whatever the ding dang thing you want. Let's go one more time. So rebuilding. Coming back. Two cards here. If you don't draw a creature here, I'm not you gonna kill myself. Well, my draw can be better. Oh, that's actually broken. Oh, tracker. Draw two cards. But I think it was. Remove. Kill here. Oh my fucking god. Quest. Oh yeah, this game's ours. I think we just pulled this game back. Physical attack with my 6 6 death toucher. Okay. He's gonna come back. Yeah, so he's definitely putting him back. You know, we have two 3 4s and a 2 2. Kaya's Rap gaining the life. Whatever, we have. Your bow quest news. Your quest news. Actually, I'm gonna I'm save on this. Attack with my 5-5 five, five Vigilance Staff Toucher. I don't really care about any of this stuff because I have another beast in hand and I also have Ronus. Soul Smear, Friends of Wolves. That don't matter. Okay. I can find a beast. If you attack with an ambush shrine, you bet your ass on boss. I think I actually want to play Runus before this, because then. Well, actually. Nah, you can do it. Down to the Runus. boys. And then I'm just gonna. Now I have six mana. You can now play Rock and Tracker. I mean, this is just insane. I think we should have actually waited for Rock because we had so much more stuff coming up. Make a one one. A strong Like, this is also. You just get to. Like, <laughs> that's actually kind of disgusting. They need a way out. Well, Garrett does that. Provides blockers, which are also wolves. So he's gonna kill that, and he's also gonna kill the one one, I assume. Yep, if he's scared, he can go up to loyalty range, which I cannot allow to happen. Which I can absolutely not allow to happen. Garrick ulting. So questing beast doesn't die, I'm just gonna play the roast on Halvard here. Play on the beast. Well, it's 
So Garrick's guarantee died. Garrick's, Garrick's guaranteed to die here. Because the questing beast, whenever it does damage to the opponent, it does damage to the that planeswalker. So we're still pretty good here. Just allowing everything to happen. Close is affecting me more than I thought. No, you just got swarmed by creatures. The curse did not do anything to you. Arlen. That card needs to die also because. 3-3 three, three is coming in. Being able to just... Might be able to just... Go in and destroy us? Oh, it's for, this prevents all coming. So never mind. But that's actually kind of also good for them, because now they get to keep the wolf they make. So I think just the boys are coming in. We don't care about Arlen. The boys, they're just incoming. Happens. Almost, yeah. It also does the army. It also kills Arlen. Looks like they ran out of sweepers, which I'm actually glad. I mean, that's what they need. But anyway, I can just quest the geese to play the wolf. Yeah, no food, so it's just a 3 3 that fights. Oh, uh, you can't even do anything. Now I'm just gonna gain a 3 life. But this was an interesting deck. Just sweep it, sweep until they have no resources left and just, just deploy wolves now. That's kind of an interesting deck, but they've been doing pretty well. I'll admit that. Boys. Ooh, unbreakable formation. That's well, the questing beast. Oh, Ronus. Looks like. Oh, I guess the preserving. Well, so yeah, they they would have to do that because they could not live. There's no way they could like double lock to kill a creature like the questing beast. They would have to. I put amateur. Okay. He gets another 3 3. I mean, that's wholesome here. Doing real work. Saving his booty. I mean, those life swings with that wholesome here have been real well. And this questing piece has actually been kind of benefiting him, so he doesn't have to. Pack with Z boys. So, Yorvo and one other creature are have to get blocked. They just have to. Tulsmir. I think Tulsmir is definitely way worth. Yeah, they they know. They know that Tulsmir has been saving their ass right now. I haven't even cracked this for life, but this one I'm at forty. They just need the wipe. If they have the wipe, well, actually, if they wipe, I have quest beast. Right. Gets those. So no. Two more blockers. Two more life. Well, six more life. Again, making things a lot difficult. This deck's been really holding up well. And like I need the food, but it's always nice to have a scrumptious meal. Again, I'll block everything. Yeah, 
We'll just send that to block like everything though. Well, they could leave Ronus. They could just like block these two and then Tulsimir, keep Tulsimir. Well, actually, no, looks like he's just sending them all up. So now, Sweeper or the game ends? Well, they actually, if they sweep. Well, that's when Ronus still comes back. If they don't play a follow up creature, then I win the game. Close. I mean, I would like to do another one, but this video already. I think that match is already padded the video long enough. Yeah, I'm not doing it because I want to pad my. to get to the 10 minute mark. It's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this just because I want to do more content. Wait, I'm gonna show you stuff for all my standard decks right now. I have one historic. Oh, I have. A few decks ready for all the formats. I have a popper deck, a brawl deck, a singleton deck, and a single tech, a historic deck. So yeah, those are the can't wait to just nickel bolus brawl. That's gonna be fun. So decks. Monogreen Stompy, you already seen, or is that life gain? Basically the same, but sadly no more Leland Vanguards. I mean I think the deck's definitely weaker. Than what it was before, with like the own vanguards and all that, but still pretty good. Herbalanda, this is just for dailies. This is just a daily. This is just for dailies. If like there's a daily that needs me to play lands, I'm, I'm just, I just play this deck. Open the gates. Basically, just everything that gives lands. Mono black. It's a cauldron combo. So you have. Cauldron Cats, you have the Witches Oven, and then you just have a pretty good solid black deck. You have the Evan Legions, Hand Control, Hand Control. Good to feel this. Removal, Sweepers, Finishers, and another Finisher, but also Reset Button. Mono White Life Gain. Basically the same as this, but a few different things. I put more things in. Yeah, that's mono white. Mail. Secret Keepers. Ground Secrets around the lock. Dot Erasure, Tyrant Scorn, Deadizen, Thief of Sanity, Didn't Say Please. Carly Carnarium, Ashiok, Ritual Suit. Three into the God Eternals, the Locking Serpent, and two Lilianas. The Lilianas there just more like a reset button that deck. The way you kill them is honestly. Next up, Singleton Elementals. So we have Scorch Spitter, Opt, Shock, Prey Upon, Ember Cat, Leaf Druid, Stormkin, Trailblazer, Flourishing, Rabbit Bite, Domer's Ambush, Clock and Seer. It's all the elemental payoffs. And also just elemental cards like Living Twister. Mm. And there's some good curve choppers like Enchandra, We can Inferno, and then the Mana Base. Next, Brawl. Nicol Bolas, my commander. Shock Opt. That's just playing. Better Invasion. Flavor. Elder Spell. More flavor, but also really powerful. Coil. Removal. Signet. Dominance. Fuck Chandler. I mean, then here we sell all the walkers, Mu Wang Gang. Table. All the walkers. The walker payoffs. 
Dr. Zagger Popper. So, it's a really aggressive Rakdos deck. You have Bane Hounds, Sanitarium Skeleton, Grim Initiate, Scorch Spitter, Torch Carrier, Footlight Fiend. Uh, Ornary Goblin, Pack Massive, Sornsters, Audacious Thief, Vulture, Goblin Smuggler, Soul Salvage, Murder, Screw the Critics, Blade Juggler. Fetter. It's actually not a really highly optimal team Fetter, but all the combat tricks. Defiant Strike, Guard for Battle, Infuriate, Sim Sprint, Storm Strike. You have three value ones and then just three goods for good ones for killing. Fetter Arcanus to get them back. This is also a really cool fetter, because like Uh like cause like let's say you played something before you fettered. Then you just play then you attack with Arcanus, get that back, but it's gonna exile with fetter, so fetter's just gonna get you that card back. So it's just even more advantage with fetter. Then we have the Legionnaire, Sure Strike. Franco, Fetter, and then Chandra. Next we have Mono Red. Pretty sure it's a pretty straight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a straightforward red deck. Banneret, Initiate, Sword Spitter, Sin Street, Sword Carrier, Shock, Ember Hauler, Cavalade, Chandra Spitfire, Claymore, Cranko, and then the Walkers. I've had so many games with just having these both on the field. The, this is just insane. You just plus. And then you can just infinitely make devils. Next up, my historic deck. So my historic deck... 61? No. Right, we have Terramander, Saturn Storm Samurai, Sailor, Fierce Obsession, Dive Down Opt, Rhyme Roar, Morphic Trickster, Tempest Gen, Look at Sets Bristol. This is exactly Ben Stark's list. Favorite pro, admire him. Uh, it's it's exactly this list. I've always had a special place for Mono Blue. It was my first actual competitive deck just because it was the cheapest one around. And I loved it. It's just fun. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this card advantage, but you're also gonna get hit for like five. Next up, is it Mizzet? I don't have any uh Phoenixes, sadly. I'm planning to get some for this deck. Actually, nah. I'll probably not get some because the thing is, uh Rotated. Rotato. Yeah, because Phoenix is rotating, so actually I'm probably not. We have Opt, Shock, Field, Electromancer, Radical Idea, Electro Dominance, Flame Sweep. I had Flame Sweeping just because I feel like I needed a way to just deal with cheap, uh, like, mono red decks, like, just coming up on me. Risk Factor, Murmuring Mystic, Crackling Drake, Chemistry's Insight, most of my creatures, like, Crackling Drake, Murmuring Mystic, Electrostack Field. I'll survive it. This survives it. The only thing is just Electromancer doesn't. The only creature in my deck that doesn't survive it. And also Drake and this also get... Like, also... Well, Drake is flying and also... The... The, the creatures that the Mermaid Mystic aren't in vain because they are flyers. So those are all my land... Uh, my, my land. I was just looking at Turbo. My decks... Yeah, well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry it's a short draft, but I hope I entertained you with that. Showing you all my decks and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Average GG player, out.